Hi there beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i will be covering Pokong holdings per heart bearing stock ticker 5080 trading on the main board of versa malaysia the reason why i picked to share on this counter as i want to have a well diversified stock portfolio and with the highly anticipated interest rate card in 2024 by the u.s federal reserve which could be by september this year or earlier I have decided to add in Pocom. If you are interested to find out why, make sure you watch this video till the end. While nobody can say for certain how these anticipated interest rate cuts will affect gold prices, we can always gain valuable insights by looking at historical patterns. Traditionally, there is an inverse relationship between the Federal Reserve interest rate and the price of gold. Lower interest rate. When the Fed reduces interest rate, it makes holding interest-bearing assets like bonds less attractive and investors seeking returns might then turn to alternative assets like gold. This increased demand for gold can lead to a price increase. And reason for the shift, investors might choose gold because though gold does not offer regular interest payment, but it has the potential for price appreciation. And it is also viewed as a safe haven assets during economic uncertainty. Lower interest rate can sometimes indicate such uncertainty in the economy. And poor economic conditions such as a weaker dollar and higher inflation also lead to increased gold purchases by the central banks and investors who are seeking a stable store of value. For example, during the infamous 2008 financial crisis, the Fed cut interest rate from a relative high of 5.25% to a historical low of 0 to 0.25%. In response, gold prices surged dramatically from roughly US 800 an ounce to around US 1,900 an ounce within three years. And a lot of current economic conditions do mirror those of 2008 prompting expectations of higher gold price performance thereafter. The Fed's commitment to several rate cuts this year, despite the market's relative strength, betrays their lack of confidence in the future of the economy. On the surface, the economy appears to be robust, but these fiscal policies reveal the underlying desperation of policy makers. Hence, one of the ways for me to de-risk my investment portfolio this year is for me to include precious metal into my portfolio. The Fed rates cut policy for 2024 is remarkably similar to its strategy way back in 2008. If gold's historical performance is any indication of its future trajectory, this rate hike reversal could give a serious boost to gold. And why did I pick Pocom? This is because Pocom just reported a stellar quarterly earnings recently which was yesterday, 18 of June. Pocong net profit jumped 51.6% to RM47.6 million in the third quarter ended April 30th, 2024, from RM31.4 million in, in third quarter of fiscal year 2023, driven by higher revenue and an overall uptrend in gold prices. Revenue rose 36.5% to RM519.6 million in the third quarter of fiscal year 2024 from RM380.7 million, mainly due to an increased demand for gold jewelry and gold investment product. Earning per share grew to 11.61 cents from 7.66 cents, though no dividend was declared during the quarter under review. And going forward, Pocong is also expected to benefit from stronger and more dynamic trade activities which are anticipated to translate to greater demand for gold and gold products. Now. If you are new to this counter, this is a brief introduction on Pocong Holdings Berhad. Pocong Holdings Berhad is a diversified company with a strong focus on the Malaysian gold jewelry market. They operate a retail chain, manufacture their own jewelry and have additional ventures in property, distribution and potentially overseas investment. Pocong is a dividend paying company with a current yield of 1.71% that is well covered by its earnings. Its dividend payout ratio is only at 6.32%, meaning every 1 ringgit net profit the management is only paying out 0 0.06 ringgit to its shareholder and retaining the balance for future reinvestment. Fundamentally, Pocong is currently trading at a low PE of 4.81 with an annual dividend yield of 1.71%. 
though we can see over here that Pokong seems to have a high total debt of RM193.97 million versus its total cash of RM46.06 million, but at least its debt to equity ratio is only at 34.22%, which is viewed as satisfactory and healthy. It also has a book value per share of Warrigate at 86 cents, which is way higher than what the stock price is currently trading. Despite having reported such a stellar quarterly earnings, though this morning the stock did open with a gap out at 1 ringgit 21 cent from previous day close of 1 ringgit 70 cent, it surged up to a temporarily high of 1 ringgit 25 cents during the first 10 minutes of the trading. Before tapering back down to now, as I'm making this video, it is trading at 1 ringgit and 70 cent. I guess the short-lived bullish momentum could be partially due to no dividend was declared for this quarter and today the overall KLCI stock in general will down due to profit taking activities I think and to me this is indeed a gift from the Mr. Market for me to grab a long position into Pocom. I bought into this stock today at around 1 ringgit 19 cent. Technically we could see that Pocom chart is in an uptrend and has since made a healthy retracement back down to touch its 20 SMA level. As we could see from its recent chart pattern Every retracement down to near 20 SMA level would eventually produce a rebound higher from there on. Hence, the probability of Pokong stock price to do a rebound from this level is high. But do take note that there is still a low probability that Pokong stock price might decline further to touch its 50 SMA level, which is at around 1 rupee and 10 cent. Should this happen, I plan to add in my second tranche buy. And my target price for Pokong is at least uh, 1 rupee 35 cents. To make a double top. However, it is also important for us to note that the relationship between the Federal Reserve interest rate card and the price of gold isn't always straightforward. Here are some additional factors which we may need to consider. First, the market sentiment. Overall market sentiments and investors' risk tolerance can play a significant role. If investors are optimistic about the economy even with lower rates, they might not flock to gold. And if this is the case, then the gold price may not continue to surge higher. Second, the dollar strength. The US dollar and gold often have inverse relationship. When the dollar weakens, gold can become more attractive to international investors, potentially pushing up the gold price. To quote an example, during the 2008 financial crisis, when the Fed significantly reduced interest rate, gold prices did surge as investors sought for safe haven. But during the 2018 to 2019, when the Fed raised interest rate during this period, gold prices also increased due to rising geopolitical tension and a weakening US dollar. So in conclusion, while a Fed interest rate cut historically have caused an increase in the gold prices due to the reason I have shared earlier, but still it is never a guaranteed outcome. The overall economic climate, investor sentiments and the US dollar strength also played an important role. But I choose to lean onto the former outcome that is Fed rate cut in 2024 will increase gold prices. What about you? What is your opinion on this topic? Will you decide to also add gold counters into your investment portfolio as a way to de-risk it? This is the end of my sharing for today. Do smash onto the like button below if you like the content today and remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Bye and I shall see you again in my next video.